What is up everybody, it's your man Lamar Griffin. Welcome back to my YouTube. Don't you ever let them stand in your way now. If you don't already, please subscribe. On my channel, it's gonna be vlogs, a lot of stuff about sports, a lot of cool stuff, man, me highlighting different people. But in this episode of my YouTube video, I'm going to take you guys through my bag and what I take to an NFL game and what I shoot on game day and why. And uh, so I don't want this video to be super long, but when I was starting out, I used to always go to YouTube and I would always watch tutorials and I was always trying to find different things and more knowledge before I would go to a game day or before I would go out to a game or before I go out to a practice or uh, a workout with a player. I was always on YouTube right before I actually went and shot looking for information. So now that I'm on YouTube and trying to make more content for you guys, I'm not the best YouTuber or whatever, but this might help somebody, so I'm going to make it. This is what's in my bag for an actual NFL game, client shoot, uh, real work. So I just want to show you guys what's in my bag and why I got it in there. So first, uh, let's start with the bag. It's a Polar Pro bag. Uh, if you go into any Best Buy, I think right now at the time of this video, uh, this bag is sold at Best Buy. It's not any of those fancy camera bags you see. Uh, no disrespect to those. It's just a solid bag. I mean, I just, I've had it for about three years. So, yeah, everything that I shoot in the game fits in this bag. I have two camera bodies, three lenses, and a lot of other accessories that I use on game day or the day before the game, of course. So first and foremost, uh, let's start with the top. Uh, simple, everybody always has it when they travel. Maybe not everybody, but I got my MacBook. Uh, it's a 13-inch touch. Um, yeah, MacBook. Um, nothing else is in there. Old plane ticket. So now we move to the back of the bag. Uh, there's a cool little feature on this bag. I'm always flying. Like To get to the game in Tampa, I'm going to have to fly. So this is a lock for TSA. I always lock the bag. So if TSA needs to get in, in the bag and check it, they easily have a key and it works with TSA. So that's a cool little feature that the bag has. All right, so first and foremost, we'll go over, uh, let's start with the big stuff. The biggest lens I have in the bag is a Sony G Master 100 to 400. So that is uh, my go-to on game day. I love this lens. It's small, it's compact, uh, but when you're shooting, if you guys know, it expands. But in the bag, I don't have to worry about that because in the bag, it is like this. So that's fine for me. We got the 100 to 400 G Master. Set that there. My trusty, trusty, trusty uh, 70 to 200 F4. Or it is very light. Uh, this is my main go-to. This is Gabe's baby. Gabe loves this lens. I love it. It's a great lens, especially for the light games. Uh, this NFL game is starting at 4 o'clock, so there's going to be plenty of light. So... This is a lens I like to always take with me as well. Of course, uh, my main driver, the Sony A9 with the grip. Now, I don't want to lie. I take the grip and it has two batteries in it. But just depending on how I feel, I could take the grip off and shoot without it. The Sony batteries, uh, I keep a couple extra batteries. The Sony batteries are amazing. The battery life on the A9 is amazing. So... The grip for me is more so if I feel like I don't want to run back in and grab a battery at halftime or it just depends. It's just on your preference because these batteries with the Sony cameras are really good. So you don't need the grip, but I love having it. This is also the off-brand grip. I don't know if you guys can see that. This That's the off-brand grip. I do not have the actual Sony grip. It was a little out of my price range. So I got this off-brand from uh, B&H and I love it. It hasn't, it hasn't been bad at all. So Sony A9 with the grip. Um, my B camera is going to be the Sony A7 III. Uh, usually I shoot with the Sony A7 R3 for my B camera. Um, but Gabe has a shoot this week. He's going to be shooting some portraits. So Gabe is going to have the camera I'm shooting on now, which is the Sony A7 R3. And I'm going to have the A7 III. So I'm excited. The A7 III is a really good camera. 
this is going to be my wide. I'll probably have uh, a wider lens on this camera with it around my neck. I'll probably have this one around my neck while I'm holding my A9. So uh, it's just, just in case I get too close to the action and I want to get some wider shots. I have the A7 III and this camera is more than capable and I'll show you guys why. If you're just starting out in sports, I would really go with this camera if your budget doesn't allow you to get an A9 or an A7R3, A7R4, any of those cameras. So A7 III. My wide lens, one of my favorite lenses, my 28 to 75 2 8 by Tamron. Uh, I don't even got to explain. This lens is 2.8 aperture, so if it gets dark, uh, it's ready to go. It's super light, super fast, autofocus. Uh, I love this lens. It's one of my favorite lenses for sure. This is what I use. Like, if we get into, if I get into any situation where the players are in the end zone, and usually I'm pretty close to them from the sideline, I won't shoot the 100 to 400, of course. I'll shoot the A7 III with uh, the 28 to 75. We'll put that there. Um, I take this Omni charge with me everywhere. I don't know if you guys heard of this company that Omni. This is a battery bank. Uh, you can plug an actual outlet in there. Two USB plugs. Um, this thing has been a lifesaver more times than I can count. Of course, I like to edit on the plane. I like to get my pictures back to my clients, the videos back to my clients as fast as I can. And of course, I can't do it all on the plane. But I like to start editing on the plane and I put back everything up on here and I start editing and uh, try to get my clients back some of the stuff we shot from the game. So I like to try to get some editing done on the plane. This always comes in handy. Uh, one terabyte, not too, not too big. The USB-C, uh, extra battery. Um, Road Wireless Go. I'm gonna make, uh, you guys see that? Yes, sir, I love these. These are more for behind the scenes. Um, if I wanna talk some YouTube stuff, uh, vlogging type stuff this isn't I don't actually use this for the game but this is more behind the scenes I'm gonna do a whole video on these things I love them right now I'm recording on my zoom h1n which was my setup before I got the the road wireless go I don't even know what this is called I mean I know it's a, a hot shoe connector but yeah I don't I'm not gonna lie I don't know what it's called so pretty much my dilemma was I want to have my audio on me and I also want to have the monitor that I'm recording with right now on top of the camera. So I went, I went and bought this yesterday for a shoot. I loved it. It worked out well. So I'm going to take it with me on the road to the game and use it. And yeah, it's just more so for behind the scenes, kind of have your monitor, have your audio. You can have whatever you need. Cool little device. And that is it. Wallet license. So that is my game day setup. I just wanted to show you guys what I take to, for an NFL game, what I'm shooting with how I use it, why I use it. The 100 to 400 is my main lens with the A9. Uh, 70 to 200 could be on the A7 III or the 28 to 70. It just depends on how the team's playing, drive, down, distance, all those type of things. Thank you guys for tuning in. Please like the video. If you have any questions about shooting sports, shooting anything, let me know. More vlogs coming, more content coming. I'm your man LG. Peace. I got to put all this stuff back in the bag now.